Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the heroic version of the Ford Wing in Black Rock Mountain. The first boss is Razor Gore, and as usual, I am not using any legendaries here. Uh, versus the first boss, I like to use a priest because you're good at stealing stuff, and if you can steal a couple of his eggs, then you're pretty much good to go. Another real winner versus in this fight is the crazed alchemist that can turn around. Like if you can play that on turn two, that is usually a pretty good idea. Uh, let's see, we don't really have any of our real awesome cards, so let's see if we can get them. Mm, okay, but the Ivan Beak is pretty nice too to play on turn two. I mean, if you don't get anything that you can use early on, then you're in trouble. Well, let's get this one out there and see what happens next. Right. I'm gonna silence that one. So he doesn't get a big dragon next turn. Seems like a plan. Too bad we're gonna lose our cleric, but that's just how it's gonna be. I'm doing some damage to that egg so it doesn't hatch us soon. Okay. Of course, this one is really awesome if you can get to that point. Also, mind control techs are really nice. I have two of them in the deck. So now, if an egg does hatch, we can kill the dragon coming out of it with the big game hunter. So that is good. Let's hold on to that. And we'll just play the pyromancer. And I think we'll just... Keep hitting on that egg. See if we can kill it sometime. Uh, not the best start, but we'll see what we can do. We can still win. Alright, so you got this one. And maybe clean up the, the house with Holy Nova next turn. Like, say we powered shield here. We can kill that egg. And... Well, let's play this, heal this one up. Then we'll kill that egg. Oh, Master Spell is another nice card. But I'm trying to set it up so we can clear the board next turn. Hmm. Alright, so if you do Holy Nova here, everything dies except that egg that is already silenced. So that sounds pretty good to me. Okay, so uh, do we kill it? I think we do. Just get it out of the way. He also has some buff cards and such. So, get rid of that. And now we can just steal that egg and I think we win this. Not too much troubles anymore. And the best part is when he does the buff thing, he also buffs the eggs that you steal. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's kill that so he doesn't kill our egg. Just to be sure. Alright. Hmm. Okay. So next turn, like at the beginning of his turn, we will get the, the dragon from that. Now, what do we do? Good master spell, but can just kill the egg anyway, so it's not really much of a concern. Can't smite that, unfortunately. Could, of course, if we do Master Spell. Huh, that one is annoying. Master Spell, see what we draw? Oh yeah, okay, let's just go for it. Shadow Madness could be useful soon. Let's uh, just smite that and hmm. Let's just clear the board as much as we can. Get the zombies out. Then we'll have a really nice board now. Uh, 
Why? I can't just Shadow Madness here. Or the big game hunter, almost, but not quite. So I guess we just... Craze Alchemist, that one. And... Oh, wait a second. What if we... Shadow... No, 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 no. It's not when they die, it's when they reach 5 life. So what am I thinking? I don't want to... Craze Alchemist after I steal it. It's not that kind of egg. So let's just do that. I kind of want to kill everything. Do that. Kill it with those or those two? Ah, actually let's get these two out of the way before they have any downside. Heal that. One thing that could be nice is to steal an egg with something like Shadow Madness if you can, um, if you have power with shield on hand, because then you can use that on it after you steal it. And then you get the dragon, which you get to keep. But can't do that right now. Hmm. Kill that, kill that. We could Shadow Madness that one, run it into that. Oh, that leaves it though. Still too high to kill with the smite. So we're gonna go, we're gonna run that into that anyway, so might as well just heal here. Do that. Kill that. Keep this one down to make sure nothing bad happens. And end turn. And also, if we get this one up to free life again, then then we can steal it and heal it, and then it will also turn into a dragon, like with Shadow Madness. Oh, this one is nice. Let's steal that one, and then we'll steal this one later next turn. Now, I think I just want to. Well, we could. Smite and run that into that, run that into that. So if we do something like this, and then heal that one. Okay, that's good. Now we can take that, heal it up, and get a dragon. Bloodlust. Well, that didn't help you very much, did it? Nope. Okay, so we do this. And we heal it. Get a dragon. And now... Hmm. Well, that one is annoying. I guess we can... Obey. Let's just play it nice and safe here. Kill that. Obey. Kill that. Enter. Another one of those. Well, he's top decking, so he is not in a good spot. How do we do this? I think I might actually craze alchemist on that one, so we can kill it and lose less life. We can kill that with this one anyway. So say we do that. Let's do this. That. Heal this one up and turn. And has this one. How much life does it have if we heal it up? I don't remember. Let's just heal it and see. Oh, it is five. Okay, good. So then we kill that. Go for the face. Yeah, honestly, at this point, it's like, what can go wrong? Pretty much nothing. 
So let's just play nice and fast here. Uh, hmm. Guess I should kill the egg. Actually, I could just have ignored it, but it felt safer. And then we'll probably win this turn. Ooh, bloodlust. <laughs> oh wow. Did he actually? No, he didn't save himself. I'll just kill that. Kill him with his own kids. For the second boss, we have Valistrash, or however you pronounce it. I like to use a druid versus him, and it's basically almost all one drops with a few two drops and two wolf riders and innovates. Yeah, so basically you just flood the board every turn and try to kill him before you run out of cards. Alright. Alright, let's keep all of this. Actually, I actually like this hand quite a bit. I like to use naturalize early on, preferably burning a couple of cards. Later on it can be hard to burn cards with it, so it's best to use early. And then... Let's get uh, the Infiltrator out here. Okay, so now I think I want to play the Priestess and Infiltrator and hope that he doesn't have Arcane Missiles. Okay, go ahead, burn some cards. I'm happy he burned a naturalized too. That's an annoying card. Ah, so we're gonna burn a couple of cards too, I think. Well, we're gonna burn one. Could be worse. He burned more already. So now he has. Let's just naturalize here. And then we'll play two one drops. Like that, that. Alright, this is a pretty good start actually. Even though we're burning some ourselves because we didn't get an early innovate. But it's not too bad. It's way worse for him. Okay, now we have an innovate Moonfire, so... If we play Knife Juggler, Innovate, Moonfire... Actually, why don't we just naturalize it? Yeah. Okay. Then... Play this and this to get as low on cards as possible. We yeah, did that in the wrong order. I should just have naturalized first. But, I think we'll still be fine. He's still burninating all his cards. He actually has less cards left in his deck than us. Okay, well now it's the same. But this is the strategy. It's not really about milling him. It's about rushing him down with minions. So that is fine. <laughs> Corruption. Oh no! On a 2-drop. So I think we can't really do too much about that. So we're just gonna ignore it. And... Play. Well, we actually don't have room to play very much. Hmm. Well, that's a little awkward. So I guess we'll just run a minion into it to make room to play something else. Alright, because now we can play this one and we get down to six cards. Okay. There we go. We take him down to 13. Good. I think this is the one of the more fun heroic bosses you have made. I really like the concept. Like a normal mode, I was kind of excited about it too, but on Heroic it's a little bit harder, but it's not that hard. 
it's just kind of a lot of fun to play like this because it's so unusual. Okay, so do we have lethal? I think we probably do. I mean, we have... If we do... That... That is... Uh, and then we just play Claw. We also had... we have more than lethal by a fair amount. Alright. And we helped him out because he was under mind control or something like that. For the third boss we have Chromagus. I like to use uh, Ramp Druid versus him. It's a pretty tough fight unfortunately, especially when you're trying to do it without legendaries. Uh, I think if you use this deck something that could help if you have them is stuff like Sylvanas. Uh, Alexstrasza and probably Kelfosad, I think. I would make it a little easier. Maybe even Dr. Boom. So basically, you want ramp cards early on. Innovate is not ideal, but it can help get into something like a Norris early on. But what you really want are stuff like Innovate and even a Growth Tender, since those give permanent mana upgrades. So let's start out with this one. Like you basically want to get up to a point where you can comfortably play cards every turn and do well pl get rid of his afflictions yes that is it and if you're really lucky you get a lot of the green ones uh, the green it always starts out with a green one but after the first after you get one of each it starts becoming random which means that then you can get lucky and constantly get the green ones Okay, coin swipe on that. Fair enough. Unfortunately, we don't really have anything great to play. Oh, now we have Wildgrove. Let's get that out. Okay. Now... What would the... Really? He did nothing? Alright, you know what? Let's just get rid of some afflictions then. Okay. Taking the damage one is not too bad, but we don't even have a Molten Giant yet anyway, and it can become problematic if you start losing too much life. So let's get uh, this one out, and we'll also play this one. Right, you see now we have like a nice little mana advantage. It could be better if we had gotten a Norse, way better, but just the fact that we have a little bit of a mana advantage helps mix up for the fact that we have to play his stupid <laughs> affliction cards every turn. So um, we can play, we gotta play this one, I think. So, but what we need to do first is kill that one so it doesn't get buffed. So we'll do that. And then play the taunt and we'll play that. There we go. Now I would love to get something like a molten giant, especially now since we do have a protector. And we're starting to get kind of low on life. Another Twilight Drake. Let's play that. But actually, let's um, do one damage with this first. To see what we draw. We get a card right back, so Twilight Drake will be the same. And then we do that. And we want to play this one too. And kill that. So we're in a decent spot here, but it can definitely still go wrong. But we have a fighting chance, definitely. I uh, might end up drawing cards with this one, since we are a little low on them. I wish we had a Molten Giant, so we could play those first and then heal up. Uh, right, let's draw a card here. Oh, Molten Giant. Perfect. Let's get that down. Then attack the face, and then next turn we can heal up. We still have one more Molten in the deck, but at least we got one of them out. And you can take a long time before we draw the second one, if we ever do. So, Big Game Hunter, very happy to see that. We need to play this. And then we will uh, heal up. And I think I'm gonna hold on to that, since it would die to Flame Strike anyway, and it doesn't really help us very much here. And we don't really need a taunt right now. So let's just do this. Now, we do need to play these Affliction cards away, because otherwise we can never really damage him. Swipe is perfect here. 
Uh, we can... Hmm. Big Game Hunter swipe. And then one of those. Right. So we do... That. That. No, actually we need to get rid of this one. So let's do that. Do we even get him there enough to... No, he heals up to full, I believe. No, not quite. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta be fast here. So we can kill that. Let's do that so we can actually think. And then... Gotta get rid of this one. Wanna play Norish? I think we do. Just draw some cards here. Ah, uh, that is good. Can we play it? How much will it be? Four. Alright, then we can play that. Innovate. Let's just get rid of this one. Don't really wanna take any damage. We got a second big game hunter here, which is excellent. In case he plays Alex Strass or something like that, which he tends to do. Wow. That's a lot of card draw, buddy. Okay, so... <laughs> we have three of those. Uh, how do we do this? Maybe we just clear the board here and play all of these. Get rid of them and turn. Since I'm a little afraid of flame strike, so it's like I don't really want to. more min too many more minions isn't really that exciting. Okay, so we can have silence for that. But what else do we want to do? We gotta play that, and then, then we can wrath for one damage, maybe? Alright, so if we... Oh, we could just... Maybe we want to play this one. Could also just hero power. Hold on to the... Hmm. Right, okay, let's just do this. And just trade here. And go for the face. Yeah, okay. Are you gonna bite to the face? Oh, wow. Okay, that's some serious biting. Well, now I would. If he do, all, does all that to the face, what I want is the molten giant. Come on, one out of nine. Eh, not quite, but I'm not gonna heal up yet, of course. So let's play this and kill that. Need to play that one. Go for the face. Come on, Molten Giant. Hmm, okay. Uh, well, big game hunt that. And mm, play this one. Draw some cards. Yeah, let's just draw some cards. Because we can't really do. Ch oh, there's the molten. Alright, turn. And he's running really low on cards. Like in the. Like, we have the same amount of cards. Oh, he has one less in the deck, but I have way more in the hand here. This Norris though is kind of useless. Not really gonna use that for anything. Ah, that's a big one. Mm. Do you want to silence it? Well... Ah, uh, let's see. If you silence... And we can also wrath, kill it with a big game hunter. Can we just kill two big game hunters plus? No. Three, two, that's five, that's nine. So if you do, 
that. And then that. Then we can kill him with a big game hunter. Play one of those. Go for the face. Okay. Got a four cards left. And he still has at least one dragon, <laughs> apparently. Claw, pretty useless card. Like, what are you gonna do? Claw for two armor? Okay. We need to get rid of... Oh, no. Uh, Wild Growth is pretty useless for us. Actually, this card doesn't even matter that much anymore, since... I mean, if you have spells, you can probably afford to play them anyway. So yeah, maybe we don't need to play that. Then we can just play a Molten Giant. Uh, get rid of those. Oh, we want to play this one too. He doesn't heal. Kill that. Go for the face. Hope he doesn't have Flame Strike. Okay. Well, that's a small Twilight Drake. And now he has no cards left. Alright, so swipe here. Get rid of some of the stuff. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Do we have lethal? I don't think we do. Like, we could swipe. Like, here. And then we can kill that. Kill that. Get rid of this one. And just hero power. And then next turn, we might have lethal. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so. If we go all out for the face, how much do we take him down to? Uh, do we have it? No, we don't. So let's just kill that. And let's just heal. Heal power. Go for the face. That's a long game. Why do we see the cards before he plays it? I guess it's because we're mousing over, over there. That's a weird thing. Alright. There we go. Long game. But it worked. For the fourth boss, we have Lord Victor Nefarious. A dragon in disguise. I like to use a paladin versus him. It's a pretty standard paladin deck, except it has two doomsayers. And also two divine favors and as well as a Kassan mystic since many of the spells that he steal happen to be secrets so stealing one of them back is quite nice all right let's see what happens here reasonable hand Too bad we don't have anything great to play here. I wish we had a shielded mini bot or something. Well, I mean, we could play Doomsayer. But. That'll leave us an empty board for turn 3. You know what? Let's go for it. No, we're fine. And then on turn 3, we can play Master for Battle. Oh, unless he's gonna... Uh, is he gonna actually gonna kill the Doomsayer like this? Or is he gonna go for the face? No, nope, going for the face. <laughs> Alright. He should be a hunter. Oh, equality. That is actually very nice. Especially since we have these guys out here already. Alright. Thanks for the help, Bracknerus. Flame strike. Okay, well, this guy's still not alive at all. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I wish that was the case, but... At least we can get something out. Yeah, we have a decent hand here. The quality, sludge pulsure, some healing in case we need it. Hmm. All right, let's get the the sludge pulsure out. Attack the face once. I'm not sure why I did that actually. I mean, it's not like this one damage really helped us at all. And it's not like he runs Harrison Jones, so... Hmm... We have this combo ready for whenever we need it. But... We don't really need it... yet. I wish I could play True Silver and the Peacekeeper. We could do something like this. Just kill that. Alright, yeah, that's alright. He still has so many cards. I want him to play more of his minions before I use the equality consecration combo if I can. Hmm. Also, have a couple of mind control techs in the deck. Oh boy. Well, we need to get rid of. Wait, did he play two Blessing of Wisdoms on it? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we need to get rid of that, obviously. We uh, we could use. Well, we, hmm. we need to either use Consecration or Equality. Uh, I think. Equality is probably more important to hold on to. We're gonna lose? Well, if we play Equality, we can keep one of our minions alive, but it would be a pretty low quality minion. Well, let's just do this. Oh, right. We can, actually, we can anyway. Okay, so we do that. And... Mm, I don't think he's gonna get enough minions out for my control tech this game. So let's just play it here. Seems like he has actually used most of his cards now. Well, unfortunately, he's of course gonna steal a secret every turn. Which is a bit of a shame, but that's just how it is. Another sludge pilcher. Ah, we don't really have any Ah, this is a bit a little, a little bit lackluster, but I guess we'll play Sludge Belcher here, and kill that, go for the face. Maybe next turn we will do quality. Well, I guess it depends if he plays anything really worth using it on, because we can deal with that. Hmm. Alright. Wait, really? To bite? Nothing? Uh, okay, so... Hmm... What a weird spot. Not really sure about this. I think we just play... Some minions. I don't... I don't really want to use equality here. I think you play the weapon. Go for the face. What if we... Maybe I should... I think I should have killed this one here. Yeah. Like getting three more damage and doesn't really help. So I think that was a mistake. Right! Oh wow, he chose to do it on that one. I hope we get our Kassan Mystic. And I think I might just play Equality here, especially now that we got Divine Favor. So if we do Equality... The battle. Uh, could be Nobles. For justice. 
Do I? Yeah, I, I don't really want to take all that damage. That's a lot of damage. Redemption. Okay. Then we can just kill it again. And then we play Heal Bot. Divine Favor. Unfortunately, we're only getting two cards, but... That's because he has barely any cards himself. So, if you don't have like a, a no legendary limit to yourself, and, and you have some legendaries, you could, for example, replace this Force Tank Max with Dr. Boom, Sylvanas, Kelfosad, all that kind of stuff. Huh. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's play Force Tank Max here. Yeah? And that guy. We'll just kill that with the weapon. We'll go for the face. Usually he has more cards, but... Right, okay. He probably gets a good amount of cards next to him. From the Divine fi Oh man, he's just using them all. Alright, you have a Force Tank Max out. I'm pretty excited about that. It's no Dr. Boom, but it's pretty good. Now... Hmm. You know what? I think we just empty the hand here to draw some cards. Usually the Find Favor comes in much more handy, but... And it's still... Oh, I'll be filling the hand. That's fine. Oh, Kazan Mystic. I'm pretty sure that'll be useful in the near future. Still has 64 life left. And the Force Tank Max is actually pretty awesome. So, if you don't have any legendaries, go with that and don't feel too bad about it. I mean, I did it without it. Wait, <laughs> I did it with it. Okay, so let's uh, play that. The guy, and just kill that. I'm not gonna play anymore in case he does some kind of AoE. I wanna hold on to a little bit. Ah. Ah. Hmm. I like thinking if I wanted to equality, but not really. Uh, I mean, then I just... I have... Maybe just run all of this into that. Yeah. Let's see what we get here first. Right, okay. Then play these. Go for the face. Starting to take him into like a reasonable HP territory. Now he's just like a control warrior that has armored up a lot. Right, now we can play our Mystic. Okay, didn't get the buff. Let's steal his secret. Alright, I just we're gonna lose it to Flame Strike, but Hope he doesn't have that. At least we have this one with shield. Ah yeah. That hurts. That really hurts. Okay, well, let's get this one out. And yeah, I will hold on to the Sumpy Chow. Consecration. That's a bummer. Okay, so now, Truth of a Champion. Not really that great. Ah, uh, so... Do we trade here or do we let him do it for us the thing is i think we gotta do it because i'm gonna play this one and i don't want him to kill that now we'll just play this one okay. starting to run out of cards here and he just keeps getting more and more oh boy double secret 
Okay, well... Oh, Quartermaster, that's excellent. Now we just need our... Um, I know, you know what we need. Our master. So, let's see... I think there's probably a noble sacrifice in there, right? Well, I want to keep that one alive. Yeah. I wonder if there's a Venge too, because then this one is going to get buffed up, right? Then we can kill it with the champion. Right. Do that. Play one of these. And then next turn... Next turn we'll play our Quartermaster, I think. If we can buff at least three. And then we just got to hope that he doesn't have another Flame Strike coming up. Oh, well. Come on, Master. We only played one Master so far, right? No Dragons? Good. Uh, so we play that. That. Kill that. Go for the face. Alright. Come on, let's get something good. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Do we want equality? No. Do you want a doomsayer? Double no. <laughs> like, definitely not doomsayer. Um. Hmm. I mean, we could call the master here. We only get it on two. We have a master coming up, I think. But it's just kind of like, what else are we really gonna do? So let's just do this. And then we can kill that. Go for the face. Unfortunately, he's not. He's not gonna take more fatigue damage on us either. It's gonna be about the same. So we need to keep the board, which is of course hard because he keeps drawing more cards on us thanks to that hero power. So we need to check for. Um, Noble Sacrifice. Not Noble Sacrifice. I think we're gonna spam the board here and try and rush him down. Yeah. Uh, we need to kill him soon. Can we get him down to 21 now? We're almost there. Just need to avoid AoEs. We still have our Noble Sacrifice. I actually forgot about that, actually. But it's pretty good right here. That is less good. You could probably add a second Kassan Mystic in this deck. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, there's the Master for Battle. Last card. Well, I'm glad I didn't wait for it, I think. Now... Okay, so no Noble Sacrifice. We can take him down quite low. Uh, do, we, do we go all for the face? That is 4, 7, 12, 14. I think we do. Okay. Just play a guy. And enter. Hope he doesn't have removal. Okay. Come on, stay alive, guy. Oh, we're doing it. Excellent. Alright, so in this... The wing, the first two bosses are quite easy. And then we have... The last two bosses are quite difficult. But we did it. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time, bye bye!